When I say I have no energy, <laughs> I have no energy. I was going to give y'all all signs today, but I was like, I have to do something quick. But I wanted to give y'all something. I was like, I don't, and I didn't, I don't do my makeup. It's a miracle I have makeup on. <laughs> uh, Speaking of what happened in the past in love between uh, my collective and the person on their mind. What happened in the past? In love between the collective and the person on their mind. What happened in love in the past? Between the collective and the person on their mind. For anyone new here, my name is Brianna. Mostly known as Bri. We're going to look into the past, present, future. How you feel about them. How they feel about you. Your advice for them and their near future action towards you. And we're going to rock and roll. King of Pentacles in the past. Could be dealing with a Taurus, or you're a, uh, or you could be a Taurus, or any Earth sign. What's the current energy and love for the collective and the person on their mind? A lot of money involved, possibly up right overs. Six of Pentacles. How does the collective feel about the person on their mind? How does the collective feel about the person on their mind? That's a lot. Hi. How does the person? How does the collective feel about the person on their mind? Upright reverse. Damn. Upright reverse. One more. The tower. How you feel about them? That, the tower is a feeling that's like disaster waiting to happen, or you feel like you had a major blow up with them. Um, you have some kind of, or you expect a disaster, or you already had one with them. Breakup, divorce. How does the person on the collective's mind feel about the collective? How does the person on the collective's mind feel about the collective? The emperor? That's upright. The emperor? Interesting. What is the collective's advice when it comes to the person on their mind? What is the collective's advice? What advice do you have for the collective for the person on their mind? The queen of wands, as you should. Four of pentacles try to come out with it. We'll keep that a mental note. The queen of wands came out first. What is this person's near future actions towards the collective? What is this person's near future actions towards the collective? Two of swords, upright or reverse. Big difference, upright or reverse. I think it's upright, yeah. And what is the outcome between the collective and the person on their mind? What is the outcome between the collective and the person on their mind? Upright or reverse. Y'all collect. Listen, upright or reverse. Two of cups at the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's upright. Yep. One more. Just in case. Yeah, it's upright. Your outcome is a relationship or something um, becoming a lot more harmonious. So your outcome is perfect, literally. Um, let's get right into it. Let's see whose story this is. Okay. I see Scorpio, I see Gemini, I see Aries, Taurus, and Leo. I almost said Libra by mistake. Technically, two of swords is Libra. So possibly Leo, Libra, but Leo is what I meant to say. Okay? Who's claiming this outcome? Hey, Destiny. Hey, Veronica. Hey, Via. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Um, hey, Cancerian girl. Hey, Mama Bree. Hey, Elegant Aiden. Hey, Krishona. Hey, Lila. Hey, Ep Lila. Lila, Miss Ma'am, I need you to I need you to email me. I owe you a reading. <laughs> I think, yeah. Was it you? Hold on. I owe somebody a read. Yeah, Lila and Jade. <laughs> Lila and Jade. If you paid for a reading in this weekend's marathon of this week, if this weekend's Ask Me Marathon, and you didn't get yeah, you and Jade. I, I owe you a read, so email me. Um, yeah, let's get into it. King of Pentacles in the past for you and this person. Let me put that back up right. So I can remember that two of down. All right, Spirit, please clunk. Can you please clarify the King of Pentacles for me, please? Shit. I'll take it, maybe. And the lovers, I mean, lovers is an outcome, is the outcome. <laughs> that's, that's what I would want to see in the outcome. I fell asleep yesterday during the read. You're fine. I just, mm, I, didn't, I didn't want to forget. So I wrote it down on a note. Clarify King of Pentacles for the past. A part of a verse. This is like a, okay. One more. Sideways, one more. The four of wands, upright. 
Is that for the King of Pentacles? Okay, no card in reverse. One more. One more. Ten of Cups reverse. It came out like that. I'll just try to make sure. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The lovers. No card in reverse. So yeah, the lovers in the past and future. Is the King of Pentacles the collective? I don't think it is. I think it's them. No, it's them. Interesting. Clarify Ten of Cups reverse. This. Clarify Ten of Cups reverse? The Four of Pentacles. Clarify Four of Wands. This looks like a, a relationship in the past. Uh, now, ooh, it was weird. Is this, okay, in the past, is this someone that is coming up as someone who the collective is in a relationship with? This feels like a relationship. Is this a relationship? Like a solid, committed relationship? Is that the Ace of Cups? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Page of Cups. Was it yes? Ace of Swords. I think this is you in a relationship with them and it looks unhappy on somebody's part. With the Four of Wands and the Lovers coming out in the past, this looks like y'all are in the relationship. Okay. Who is this person to the collective right now? I want to know where y'all are at right now. Where are these two standing right now? Are they in a relationship? The collective and the person on the mind? Are they currently in a relationship? Ace of Cups? This is, okay. That's interesting. I don't normally read for taking people. Clarify Ace of Cups. Now, for some of you, it could just be someone that you're talking to. And that it's going to be a relationship. Either way, it's going to be a relationship. But, um, or it's going to stay that way. Because uh, the outcome is lovers. Yeah. For some of you, this is an ongoing action. This is a relationship. Not just someone you're talking to. Take it as it resonates. But that's what I'm getting right now. So what I'm seeing here in the past with the Four of Wands, this could be something getting kind of serious. Uh, with the King of Pentacles here, this is somebody who's very dedicated to you, very committed to you. But with the Ten of Cups reverse, it's somebody who's not the happiest either for some reason. I don't know why Ten of Cups reverse. And they're not saying it either. With the Four of Pentacles, they're keeping that to themselves. Why Ten of Cups reverse? Uh, why, yeah, why Ten of Cups? Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Okay. Five of Pentacles and nine of... Hey, Shana. Is the lovers, the collective, and the person on their mind? Nope. Not yet or no. Nope. Yeah, because I knew I was tripping. I knew I was tripping. I was like, oh, that don't make sense. Ten of Because how do you have the four of wands upright, the ten of cups reverse, and then the lovers upright? That don't make no damn sense. Okay. T, clap on the four one. I feel like I'm gonna be spending most of the time on the past. Give me a second. Clap on four one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be. Ooh, hold on. Up right reverse. How to reverse? With this King of Pentacles. In the past, where how do I work this? How do I work this? How do I work this? How did the okay? How did the collective feel about this past energy you're showing me? How did the collective feel about this past energy you're showing me? Okay, so I'm not tripping. I'll probably reverse. One more. Add of swords. So I'm not tripping. Why? Why add of swords? The Empress is the Empress the Collective. There is or no? Clap by the Queen of Swords? Nope. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. 
Yeah, this we're gonna be able to pass for a bit. We're gonna be able to pass for a minute. Give me a second. All right, so because I'm reading for three people today. Clever lover. And why King of Pentacles? Somebody chose to commit to somebody else in the past. Somebody who this is so interesting because who this person is to you is someone you are currently connecting with. I guess that's what the Six of Pentacles is. Um, there is somebody here who was committed deeply to some somebody else, and I want to say this other person, this third party, had you feeling a type of way. I'm not gonna say in what kind of way, but it is sort of feel, it is sort of again, feeling kind of stuck, um, maybe insecure, um, because this person, this third party, comes up as the empress, the perfect woman, the perfect man, whatever the case may be. Um, why this King of Pentacles is coming up with this other person in in your past read? I don't know. So if I told one, why does that happen? Is because this person chose them over you at some point. So if I told one, nine of cups. Someone thought they were choosing choosing something that was going to make them happy, or something that they thought was going to be uh, emotionally abundant for them, satisfying for them, something that they thought they wanted. What is the King of Pentacles? I'm talking about this person, like this person, and th these two were like this too, like lovers. I, if I have, to, if I had that guess, you and this person are coming up as ten of cups reverse, like the like a breakup. So this could be referencing an ex for you, um, who chose to go be committed. I'm talking King of Pentacles to chose to be committed to someone else for a long time, for a while. Um, what is the King of Pentacles? I just want to make sure that this is what I'm. This is what this is. Bitch, no, I was right. Yeah, King, yeah. Yeah, this is somebody choosing, not only that, choosing to link with them on a financial note too. Like uh, this could have been them marrying them, but I don't think that. Um, it feels like maybe providing for somebody or helping somebody with money. I'm talking about building with somebody. Like they may have been together for a while. Second. I'm kind of glad I went live today. <laughs> tea. Um, because I when I say I was real close to staying in bed, I, it's, it's like it's snowing in Ohio, and I was like, I don't feel like it. I don't have the energy. When the sun is up, I have energy, but it just yeah, I didn't feel like it. Um you're welcome, Maya. We really, yeah, we really need to uncover the. I'm gonna be lost throughout the entire read if I don't fully uncover the past. So, so um, tell me more about what happened in the past. Tell me more. What else? What else? Tell me something else. What else happened between the collective and the person on their mind? What else happened in the past other than this? What else? From the collective's point of view, please. Because this doesn't look like it has anything to do with you. What happened in the past between the collective and the person on their mind? Let's get a little deeper on the collective's point of view, please. Page of Wands of the Moon. You know what? Clap on the moon. Clap on the Page of Wands. This is, this is, mm. What is the moon before I say that? What is the moon before I say that? I knew it. Why does it feel like, okay. Why does it feel like this person has been consistently inconsistent with you? This feels like one of those situations, red cardinal. If you've been saying red cardinals, it could be a sign. Um, This feels like one of those situations where somebody felt like uh, someone, mm, this person that's on your mind here, this ex of yours, they may have always had an energy of they can't, they can't with you, but can with others. 
They can't with you, but can with others. They're coming up like that kind of with you. Um, and it had you kind of stuck and interested and emotionally invested in illusions. Technically. Technically, it's kind of giving you have been emotionally invested in a delusion that they have been consistently feeding your ass. It feels like a delusion. With the moon, you never really knew where it was going to really go with this person, but you were so invested in the... I see you kind of being... In, I see this is going to be one of the, your Delulu exes. This is one of your Delulu exes. The ones where you 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 saw a whole future with this person, you and your lovey-dovey energy, all that kind of stuff, but you really weren't seeing facts, for real. You really weren't seeing... Who they were or how they were treating you, but you kind of you felt it intuitively because the moon is definitely intuitive, and so was the queen of cups. So intuitively, you felt intuitively you felt it, but you were so caught up in the maybe the energy they used to give you or the attention. I don't know what it is, but there's something here that they were cons they were consistently inconsistent about something. I feel like there's someone who kind of gave you 100 percent and then dropped it down to 95 percent, then dropped it down to 80 percent, and if you brought it up, they brought it back to 85 percent. And then when you, when they stop giving you 85%, they drop it down to about 70%, 60%. Then you say something, they bring it up to about 65%. It, it gives love bombing. It gives consistently inconsistent. And it feels like you kept trying to get this person to get back to 100%. And they never did until the point where they just said, fuck it. And they went to go commit to somebody else. It feels like you got love bombed. It feels like you were emotionally in love with a mask that they put on for you and not really them. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'll try it as hard as I can right now. <laughs> um, but that's what it's giving. And what's, what's screwed up, oh, I almost cussed, it, it was screwed up is that this person gave 100% to the other person. This person and the other, the third party are coming up as the king and queen of pentacles with the lovers. Like they're coming up like financially invested. Now, some of you, they could be together for financial reasons. That's very possible. But, but I think there's actual love there for them too. But it's like, they, they couldn't with you, but can for them. It gave that. It's very much giving that. Let's get into it. Queen of Pentacles again. Yeah, money could be... Like I said in the very beginning, before I even got what the message was, I'm getting money kind of strong for them and the other person. Uh, so there could be a, a marriage here. That's very possible. Uh, but you know what? And I'm also getting with the Four of Pentacles that even after the breakup, you kind of held on to them for a while. Energetically or emotionally, you kind of held on to them for a bit. I think it's just because they had they love bombed the hell out of you. They emotionally abused you. They technically emotionally abused you. Love bombing is emotional abuse. Um, so they had you hold held hold it on to something that wasn't even real. Yeah, you're coming up kind of wounded now. Well, at least in the past. Technically, we're talking about the past. Um, all this has already happened. But um, yeah. And what's crazy is why this is all happening is because they chose a route that they thought that they were going to be the most happy in. I don't know where these two are now, so we're gonna get into it and we'll see where that kind of where this leads. Um, but why do I feel like the lovers is you and them? Okay, hold on. Let's get into it. That's your story. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Um and this could have been someone who came, who kept coming back towards you, but never was like consistent. Because with the Hermit Reverse and Four of Wands, I think that energy is you. I think that energy is you and them. Um, that would be a reunion that's like coming out of Hermit mode, coming out of isolation from each other, like stuff like that gives reunion. And then it completely fell apart. And then they went to go commit to someone else. That's what it gives. Uh, I'm seeing uh, Virgo and Pisces energy here in the past and Gemini as well, along with Taurus. So let's put that to the side and let's get to the current energy. Six of Pentacles for the current energy. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Hierophant. Clarify Six of Pentacles. What part of this? One more. The Knight of Pentacles. If you went through this, I'm sorry. But that's, yeah, that's screwed up. 
clarify Six of Pentacles? The Emperor. Hope, hoping the Hierophant is you. Is the Hierophant the collective? Is the Hierophant the collective? Thank God. Okay. Yeah. That's you learning lessons. That's you like peeping game and yeah. Upright reverse. One more. Yeah, that is you. Thank God. Okay. Um, loving the fact that you're coming up with the Hierophant. That is the wise counsel of the deck. The the one of the wisest people in the deck. Um, so you're coming up wiser. You're coming up like you learned those lessons. Okay, now. Is the emperor the collective's person? The person on the collective's mind. Is this, is this emperor the same person here? It is. I think that's them. Is the emperor the collective? Is the emperor the collective? Because I got to know who's who in the street. That's not, it's going to be a whole lot of who is this in the street. Um, so I don't get y'all story messed up. Is the emperor the collective? I think it's them. Which I'm kind of... Is that a yes? Clarify the Emperor. It's giving both. It's giving yes for both. Clarify the Emperor. Clarify the Emperor. I want to know who this person is that's coming up in their power like this. I think it's you. Clarify the Emperor. Low key. Now I'm looking at it. I hope it's you. I think it's, I think it's them. Is the Emperor and this King of Pentacles the same person? Is the Emperor and this King of Pentacles the same person from the past? Is that a yes? I think it is. I think it's them. Okay. So there's first of all, going from King of Pentacles to the Emperor, there's a bit there's major growth here. Okay. All right. Okay, what is I don't need this deck? What is the Six of Pentacles? This is some sort of exchange between the two of you that's uh, it's either currently going on or about to be. But I think they're going to extend themselves to you. What is Six of Pentacles? I think they're going to share something with you. Bring something to light up is what I kind of want to say. Clap for the sun. Yeah. Clap for the, clap for the sun. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't tell me this what I think it is. Clap for the sun. Son. Yeah, because I think this is what I think it is. Bitch. Yep. Knight of Cups of it. Before I say that, clarify Eight of Cups. Because y'all know what I'm going to say. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Clarify Knight of the Eight of Cups. Up our numbers. Why do I feel like they're not together anymore? And I feel like they're going to bring it to light to you personally, directly, specifically to you. Why do I feel like they're about to come towards you and tell you that they're not together? Why do I feel like there's somebody walking away from their ex? Eight of cups and six of cups? Why do I feel like someone walked away from the person they left you with from for? For the, for the ones that resonate with this read, for the ones that resonate with this read, did this happen already? Or um, can you just see it coming? Clap on the high font. I'm just I'm curious to know where the, my collective is at right now, so I, it kind of helped me with this. Um, clap on the high font. It's already out. Okay, bet. Clap on the high font. Yeah, this feels like you coming into some kind of information from this person directly, from the horse's mouth, and it being very clear that, that this person left them or that they left the person, whatever the case may be, but they're not to... No, because you're not going to get nosy, right? You're not going to get nosy. Clarify the, the hair font. If, you, if you've been here long enough, you know I'm about to tap into the energy. Clarify the hair font. We're going to get off of you for a second. We're going to go into them. Clarify the hair font. Because what broke them up? Because no, nah, mm -mm, no, nope, because you can't. You can't just come back. And no, no. Mm -hmm. King of Wands. Why do I feel this higher font is you peeping game? Why did this, and not even in a bad way, not in a like, vin, like I wouldn't say vindictive, not in a jaded, um, like bitter way. This is just a very, I'm loving where you're coming out. You're coming up like, um, 
for the ones that's watched Avatar The Last Airbender, it's kind of giving Uncle Iroh, like the way his wisdom would kind of spread and be shared. You could kind of, you could honestly like teach a narcissist love bombing one-on-one class because of this person. It's kind of like, uh, so you, when, so you like, you recognize their actions. So as they're coming in, you're peeping signs, you're looking for signs, you are hip now, you're hip now. It's like, but because of that, you can see if they're genuine or not. I like that too, because if this person's coming back in genuine, you'll know it. If this person's coming in still fucked up, which I don't think they are, then you'll know it. Um, it's very much given that they learn a lesson too. But it's coming up like you have done the work since they've been with them, whoever this is. Um, I feel like not everybody gonna like this read because it's very much given that y'all gonna end up together. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, I don't want them to love me. And like your cognitive dissonance is gonna kick in as soon as I say that. And I feel like your, your ego is gonna kick in as soon as I say that. And I feel like a lot of y'all end up with this person anyway. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing though that y'all end up with this person. Some of y'all actually meant to be this person. But I think they needed the other person to kind of realize that. But we're going to get into that later. We're going to get into that later. But the current energy, as of right now, is very much giving... Clever Knight of Pentacles. It is very much giving that someone's about to make this aware to you directly. Clever Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. I do see y'all being kind of resistant at first. Um, setting boundaries... And kind of not taking the lead, but you are guiding how far this is going to go. It's something I see you being cool with them, being cordial. If you are not cordial with this person, this is no longer your read. Um, because with the three of pentacles, y'all are on speaking terms. Or at least like I, none of it on and off. I'm about to say on and off, but not even that. I see at this point. Um I, I take that back. I take that back. What I'm seeing right now is that it's going to take you a while to get to the point where the two of you are cool again and being like on the same page. And I see you at some point realizing that the two of you are on the same page. Now, whether it's right now or not, I see a lot of you being more of a like standing your ground kind of energy. Um, clarify the Emperor. Because with the Emperor being clarified with the Three of Pentacles, I do see y'all being at least cordial in this in the current energy. Clarify the emperor. But there's something about with, with the, you're coming up as the king of wands, so you're coming up as the one leading how far this goes, um, how y'all communicate, how y'all connect. Is is you are kind of in charge right now. Um, but it looks platonic in the current energy right now. Clarify the uh the emperor. And then I'm gonna get into the uh them. Oh shit. Okay, upright and reverse. I think it's upright one more. Yeah. I see somebody stressed, though. I think that's you. Is it not, is it not a sort of the collective? Yep. Whole bunch of shit running through your head. Um, Just worst case scenario thoughts, which we're going to get into that because I already peeped peep that. <laughs> I already peeped that. That's, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get into your feelings. Um, but... It's talking about you fearing the worst when it comes to this person, even though this person is coming up as the emperor twice. Um, for the ones that don't speak tarot, the emperor is the divine masculine, the father of the tarot, the father of the universe. Um, this is the all of the kings wrapped up in one. This is the person, this is the type of man or masculine energy that checks off all of any woman's box, okay, or a man, whoever, whatever, whoever, you know, whatever, whoever you want to be with. Um, but the emperor is supposed to be like the divine masculine, like the one you want, you know what I'm saying? And I did see the Empress come up earlier. So a lot of y'all come up how y'all should too, but it's very much given that this person has matured along the way, okay? This person is no longer the person that, technically this person is no longer the person you were with. You technically were with a Knight of Wands, now they're coming up as an Emperor. That is a major, major difference. Okay, I wanna make that so clear. All right, I just, I'm, I'm not taking away from nobody. If you don't wanna be with this person, I get it. I 110% get it. But I'm just, I, I would be, you know, I wouldn't be a good reader or, you know, a good, you know, advice giver, whatever you want to call me, if I didn't reiterate a few times that this person is coming up as the emperor twice. Like, I can't take away from them that they've grown the fuck up. 
They have grown the fuck up. There is nothing better than the emperor, and they're coming up like that twice. I can't take that from them. Um, if they were coming back the same, then I then I then I'd be here with you. But they grew. Um, but yeah, let's get into them. Uh, what caused the Eight of Cups? What causes Eight of Cups between the collective's person and the third party? What caused the two to break up? What caused the, these two to break up? Magician? Clarify Magician. Justice. Clarify Magician. Dare I say you. Clarify Magician. Dare I say, clever magician? What call, for what cause these two to break up? Clever magician. The Hierophant. Dare I say, you just you just pull three marriage cards for the magician. You got three marriage cards for for the magician. The magician talks about being ready, willing, and able to do something or create something or manifest something, and you got three marriage cards. Dare I say this? The what caused these two to break up is that this person was ready to commit to you. Dare I say you might have? Oh, hold on, before I say that, what is the magician? Something they have not given up on creating or manifesting with somebody. Dare I say you might have been this person's first choice the entire time? Dare I say? Y'all can put your own morals into it. I'm just saying what the cards are saying. You, you know, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all figure out what's morally correct or not. Uh, how you know how you want to feel about this person and third party and all that that happened in the past. How you want to feel about that? That's that's up to you. My job is to simply read the cards. This is saying that this person, the reason they broke up is because this person now is in every way, shape, or form ready to marry and commit to you. Is that right? A part of verse. A part of verse. It could also be a spell work, by the way. The magician could talk about spell work. I don't know if that's for y'all or not. One more. Five of Pentacles reverse talking about going back to somebody. Dare I clarify Five of Pentacles reverse? Dare I say, bitch? Dare I say somebody's heart was always with you? Give me a second. I didn't turn this light on. I'm about to get into it. I'm about to get into it. Give me a second. Because I'm about to see why they got together in the first place. Why the magician? Why did that cause these two to break up? Why did that cause. Why did the magician cause the collective person and the third party to break up? Why did the magician cause the two, the two, those two to break up? Somebody's stuck in something else. Clarify Eight of Swords. Someone's mentally wrapped up in something or someone else. Clarify Eight of Swords. Now, it could be them. It could have been them. But, uh, like, the third party, it could have been third party and somebody else other than your person. Um... There is, there is something they were stuck on. Is the Eight of Swords the collective person? Reflecting back on the... Listen, is that a yes? Is that a yes? It's a big-ass yes card. Um... Ooh, I'm glad I did this instead. I'm glad I did this because I felt like somebody needs this. Um, this is gonna be an interesting retrograde. <laughs> um, yeah. How did the co how did the third party feel about the magician? Because I'm pretty sure they know. How did the third party feel about the magician? Were burdened, weighed down, like whatever they did didn't work. They felt burdened by the fact that they uh, they probably felt like they couldn't live up to you. And this is not to boost your ego. This is simply what's coming out. Because if it was the other way around, I'll tell you. But um, it's very much giving it was... It's one of those reads where it's like it was always you. That's what it's kind of giving high key. They felt burdened by the felt by the thought of maybe y'all's connection. They thought that that... Oh! Oh! 
Ooh, okay. Remember earlier where I said that this person choosing them made you feel a kind of way about that because you saw them as the empress or emperor? Why is that how they how that's what, how the third party felt about you? How you felt about this person going to them is how the third party feels about them coming back to you. Bye. Ciao. Okay. I'm not even going to know what the title is. We are we only did the past and present. Okay. <laughs> we got five of the categories. Um what was I, what was I gonna ask? What was I gonna ask? What was I gonna ask? The club in my head was always you. Yeah. Um what was I gonna ask? Yeah, what made the two getting together in the first place? What brought the collective person and the third party together in the first place? Why did they commit to each other in the first place? If I get a single pentacle out here on the screen. For some of you, they could have had, they could have had history. That could have been an exit there. Clarify six of cups. If not, yeah, for, for a good video, that could have been an exit there. Clarify six of cups. Yeah, there was already feelings there. Now, some of you that could have been, um, what is Six of Cups? Actually, hold on. What is Six of Cups? For some of you, that's not going to resonate, but why did they get together in the first place? I want to say that for some of you, there's an ex. For some of you, they went back to an ex they already knew of. This is someone they already, there's a lot of feelings here. There was already feelings here. Yeah, money could have been involved too because they were coming up as the king, queen of pentacles, but why they got together, why why this person walked, why this person went to them instead of you in the past is because there were already feelings there. Oh, yeah. okay. Curious. Okay, I'm just curious. Uh, let's see. Let's get back to you. In the current energy, I'm seeing this person uh, extending themselves to you to bring something to light. Uh, very clearly that this person has walked away. Oh, that would explain the Eight of Cups to the Six of Cups. This is what they walked away from. The person that, yeah. They walked away from their ex that they, what, that, so they must have been with them like twice or three times for some of you, but this, they've been with this person a few times. Um, but then they've fully walked away from this person now. Eight of Cups is kind of like you're like seriously done now at that point. Um, trying to find better, trying, trying to have better, like, yeah. I'm going to see how this person feels about them, too, by the way. Um, after I see how they feel about you. But, yeah, I see them extending themselves to you to tell you that they left. And I see you wiser and kind of taking it with a grain of salt and setting proper boundaries and keeping them at a bit of a distance, not pushing them away, but keeping them at arm's length until you can really see them as the emperor that they all have, they have that it, they've already become. Or empress, so they've already become. Um, but you need to see it and be confident in that the fact in their growth. Because right now, a lot of you don't. A lot of you are like still doubting it, which is fair. Um, a lot of you still doubt it. But um, yeah, let's keep going. Let's see how you feel about them. I see Aries and Taurus here. A lot of Taurus coming out. Virgo. Uh, yeah, but let's get into the Tower. Your feelings. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of y'all feel like somebody's gonna backfire on you and the person's gonna go right back to how they were. Clef out the tower. Judgment. Clef out the tower. Yeah, a lot of you are just, yeah, a lot of you, simple as that, honestly, is I'm not really gonna spend too much of your time on your feelings because it's very clear um, and I understand them. Um, a lot of you feel like this person is going to turn on you and then there's going to be some type of major dramatic disasters turning point 
between the two of you because you expect this person now because because this isn't your best judgment technically to be fair with the judgment upright you are in your right mind to feel this way um so i'm getting that spirit is kind of justifying your feelings but you expect this person to go back to how they were will they i don't think they will i for some reason i really don't um but it's fair to think this now, a lot of you, yeah, a lot of you feel like you're going to lose this person to another person again. Maybe this specific person they left you for in the first place. A lot of you feel like this person is going to come between the two of you again. Okay. Um, and with the Knight of Wands, I see you just, it's giving player energy. You feel like this is going to, I feel like you feel if this person convinces you that they are this emperor, that it will hit you out of nowhere if they turn back into this Knight of Wands, this player, this inconsistent energy. It kind of gives that. Um, it's not my story, but it resonates. <laughs> I've never heard nobody say that before. Um, clap for Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you feel they're going to go back to like the same childish, uh, immature like emotionally immature ways, um, love bombing, all that kind of stuff. Clarify the judgment. We're gonna go ahead and jump to theirs because this is this was obvious. I, I already saw this feeling coming. Clarify judgment. What part of hurts? One more. Yeah, love. It. Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, you expect the same kind of games coming up. The read come out real clear today, by the way. Clever the three of swords. Somebody really needs to just read. Yeah, you fear that they're going to kind of um take flight whenever they kind of choose to and leave you behind with this three of swords, leave you behind with this heartbreak. Um, but yeah, I kind of expect this feeling for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to theirs because theirs is actually the one throwing me off. Um, this could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries. Um, or a possible Libra involved in this. Okay. Let's see their feelings. The Emperor. And judgment can also talk about rebirth, by the way. You can also fear making a bit major decision to take this person back and fear of uh, getting played. Clap on the emperor. And you know what? For some, reason, for some of you, you're coming up so intelligent and so wise that you're afraid. Mo a, a good bit of you is mostly afraid that not that not that you'll just get emotionally hurt, but that you'll be taken as a fool. You're gonna. You would hate to feel foolish for letting this happen again. It's more so. I'm getting pride and ego on your side a little bit. I'm um, not in a bad way. It's just kind of giving like you are coming up so intelligent that you're you're afraid to be taking like a fool too. Uh, you like you're you be you be you would be upset with yourself because you wouldn't be able to be really upset with them. You would be more upset with yourself for letting it happen again and letting it slide. So you're kind of afraid to make the wrong decision as well, an unwise choice. Clap on the emperor. Okay, that's enough of you. Clap on the emperor. <laughs> for how this person feels about the collective. The queen of pentacles. This one, yeah. Queen of pentacles. Clap on the emperor. The queen of swords and strength. I think one of you is the Queen of Swords. I think one of you is the Queen of Pentacles. Is the collective the Queen of Pentacles? I think you're the Queen of Swords. Yeah. No. The Queen of Pentacles is the other one. Is the Queen of Swords the collective? Yep. Yeah, you're coming up intelligent. Like I said, Queen of Swords. Um. Okay. Why is this person definitely going to be a read? Clap by the Queen of Pentacles. Clap by Queen of Pentacles. Why is this person coming up in, this, in, in, my, in my people read again? Why is this Queen of Pentacles still in the street? 
for this person's feelings. Why is this person coming up in this? I'm not gonna hold you. They got a soft spot for this person still. Clarify page of cuts. This person is focused on both of you. Honestly, I understand if y'all don't fuck with this person. I really, I honestly, I do. <laughs> I honestly do. Um, this person still, is, still has a soft spot for this person, even though this person is fully done with this person. This person, the third party, no longer wants a person, like whatsoever. Your person, though, still has a crush on this person. I want a crush, not in love, not love, is giving crush, like they have a soft spot. Clever page of cuts. This person has a hard time letting shit go. Yeah. Is the page of cups the emperor here? Oh, yes or no? What do you guys know? Two of Pentacles. I'm gonna get into their feelings. Let me let me let me get, let me continue with what I was already talking. I'm gonna get into their feelings on the third party. But um, this third party, you yeah, if it was up to the third party, they would never date them again. <laughs> Um, four of cups, that's very disinterested. Um, and they have finally kind of gotten themselves grounded. Um, how do I put this? Remember how I felt? Remember, remember earlier when I was like, um, how does this person feel about them being prepared to commit to you? And it got and you got the ten of wands for how they felt, the third party. And it was like more of like a burden, and like they were they felt they were carrying the weight of having to be like you or something like that. They have gotten out of that and successfully, and they're now focused on themselves and their money, and they're more grounded now. So now they're not interested in your person anymore because they've kind of they moved on. They've gotten to a place of like uh, internal security for them and financial for some for some of them. But yeah, this third party is no longer interested in this emperor anymore. Um, simply just because they are trying to it kind of gives worth i'm not gonna hold you it kind of feels like they they feel like they recollect recognize their worth because they felt like they felt for a while they felt for a while that they had to be like you or something about you. there was something about you that they already knew about um the third party very very well knows who you are um but i think they had some kind of energy of feeling burden of the memory of you something about you burdened them but they, they've gotten out of it so they don't want them um, damn, everybody in Ohio, hey, y'all not gonna come see me. Y'all not gonna come see me. Clarify the Queen of Swords for my collective. Clarify the Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, Clarify the Strength. I'm really, I'm kind of, I really want to get into your advice now because um, I'm curious to see where spirit going to tell you to go with this. Will of Fortune. And I'm messy, so I'm going to see who, which I'm going to see which one this person would rather be with you or them. I want to, I'm going to really get in, I want to really digest this one. Um, because yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. How, um, for you, how they, okay. Why the emperor? Why the emperor? Clap queen of cups. <laughs> Serious girl said, oh Lord. I'm like, I feel like y'all got a right to know. Close up on uh, Queen of Cups. Y'all got a right to know. And I like to snitch. So, you know, <laughs> me and you. <laughs> Queen of Cups in the sun. Is the Queen of Cups the, the collector's person? Is this them? For the, yeah. Why the Emperor is because they're secure in their feelings. It's not about them being in love with somebody. It's something about them being in love with someone. Are they in love with the, the collective? Is this is the collective person in love with the collective? With this uh, queen of cups here. Did he ask? Is the uh, is the collective person in love with the third party? For some reason, I want to say that's you, but is the collective person in love with the third party that they were with? No. 
That's you. They they love you. The moon. Yeah, that's a mm, no. Clarify the moon. And the nine of wands, no. They I think they have an attachment to, to this past person. I think it's an attachment. And I think this person's gotten over it. The the third party, I think they've gotten over it. But this person, um, this person on your mind, they have an attachment, is what I'm getting for the other person. Um, it doesn't give love. I think they love you, but they have an attachment to them, and the attachment is stronger. I think they confused it with love for maybe a, for a while. I mean, some of you for some, for some years. Clarify the moon. They, I think they didn't. I think this is someone, the type of person who didn't, who might have gotten lust and attachments and, and trauma bonding and all kind of stuff mixed with love. So they kept choosing the other person, not realizing that wasn't love. And I think they feel actual love with you. And maybe they, they thought it was, it was, maybe it was important to them. Um, Yeah, it's not giving love. It's really not giving love on their part. They, I, I want to, I swear I want to say they have, they have a little crush on this person. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, it's low-key giving go, depending. Um, but yeah, how this person feels about you, they feel like, what, okay, tell me more. What is the emperor? What is the emperor here? And then I'll go into their feelings for them. It's something about them feeling ready, willing, and able to commit to you. I keep getting that. And I get a lot of love energy, too, for you. They do feel like you are coming off a very cold, very cold and like powerful. Like your words are sticking with them. Anything you say to them would stick right now. Um, they feel like your focus is kind of on past events and maybe like it kind of being a little, not harsh, but tougher. You're tougher. You're different than you were before. Um, whereas before you were coming up as like super soft with the queen of cups or king of cups. And the page of wands are coming up very childlike and very and very cutesy, but you're coming up very emotionally detached, as if you don't give a fuck about them. And I think that's keeping them intrigued too. That's making them want you more too. Um, not that they didn't before, but that's keeping their attention. Um, but this person feels like the other person doesn't need them, doesn't want them, and they feel like you are kind of not stuck in the past, but thinking of the past, you know, using the past to make your decisions now from a head over heart point of view. I think before you used to think um, with like, they used to make, you did, you used to make decisions based on heart over head before, and they're used to that. So now they're kind of, kind of having to relearn you now because you have grown up, but just like you've grown up, so have they. So it's like, okay. Um, but yeah, what this emperor is, is them feeling powerful and ready, ready, willing, and able to give you what you might have been trying to ask of before. Clarify Magician. Yeah. They're trying to give you something that they, that you were, you know, that you were asking of before, but they're trying to do it in like little dosages so that they don't piss you off. Because you come off like you might tell them off a little, you know, about a word or two, if they, if you, if they do too much. But they're ready to give you everything that, that they want to give you, but they're going to give you in like little small doses just so that they're not pissing you off. Because they're, they're definitely coming in with their tail tucked between their legs. Um, they're going to kiss a little ass a little bit is what's giving. Um, especially with you coming up as this queen of swords, this, this tough, um, like, like your tongue cuts through all kind of, you see through all kind of bullshit, um, and your tongue shows it. It's just kind of giving that. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of... Um, uh, what is it? What's the word? Tiptoeing. <laughs> they 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 walking on thin ice <laughs> uh, right now, and they know it. They know it, but they feel confident enough to kind of see this through. Don't know why, but they feel confident enough to see this through. Um, yeah. What? Um, how does the collective person feel about the third party they just had a breakup with? How does the collective person? feel about the third party that they just left behind. This is interesting. Don't piss me off, please. Upright or reverse. One more. Because the way this card is... Uh, one more. Is that right? For how they feel about the person? Bro, that's upright. Ten of cups. That's upright. I, you said like I kept trying. I was like, is that upright? And the Queen of Pentacles. This person is consistently coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, clap a ton of cups. One more. The three of swords reverse. 
Clap our ton of cups. The full and clap our ton of cups. Page of Wands. Okay, does this, okay, does the person on the collective's mind want to be with the third party that they just had a breakup with? Does the person on the collective's mind want to be with the third party that they just left behind? Do they want to be with that person instead? Third party numbers. Uh, this could be a yes or a no. One more. Clarify to the ones. That was very specific. This is a yes or no. For does the collective person want to be with the uh, with this queen of pentacles? This third party. Does, do they rather be with this, this a third party here? Mm, upright reverse. This better be upright. upright Don't pick on people off, please. <laughs> because they don't come for me and I didn't do it. <laughs> upright reverse. I ain't break nobody fine. One more. One more. Keep coming sideways. Okay. <laughs> no. Just want to be sure. Okay. They love them. They don't want to be with them. Why don't they want to be with this person? Why doesn't the person on the collective's mind want to be with this third party? Why don't why doesn't this person want to be with the third party? Honestly, because that chapter probably just closed out. It's honest, yeah, honestly, the world, the world, is this upright? Yeah. Honestly, that chapter's closed out. It's just done. The Ten of Cups could also be a, success, a successful, happy completion of a chapter or two. The Ten of Cups could just be, could, the Tens and the deck are, um, are also endings in general. So it could just be, that's just the ending of their cycle, honestly. Why they don't, why this person, why your person doesn't want to be with the other person is because that, it, that part of their life is over. Clarify the world. If this is a karmic, yeah. If this is a karmic, I thought like they left on a positive note. I think they are cordial with their friends. Clever about the world. Yeah, I think they learned some, they learned a lesson. If this is if this is literally them learning a lesson that was sent to them. This is literally them learning a, a successful lesson. This is them successfully learn, learning a lesson. Yeah, they they love them, don't want to be with them. Let me see how the third party feels about them, and then we'll go on to your advice. Since we're getting deep in this one. Hey, good man. Hey, Christina. Um, thank you, yellow sun. You little hit on my emotions. <laughs> um, train of thought. Train of thought going. How does the third party feel about the collector's person? Thank you. <laughs> How does the third party feel about the collector's person? I don't know what the title just read. They feel like they're healed. They feel like they're healed. Clap for the temperance. Like they feel at peace. They've, they've, uh, yeah. They have, they feel like they've come to a um, place of acceptance. I'm getting peace. Oh, I just bit my tongue too. Peaceful acceptance. Clap for temperance. For how the third party feels about this uh, person. I brought a verse. This could also be the one to reconcile. What is temperance? Which is weird because I just I just said this person don't want them. What is temperance? Oh no, they're good. No, never mind. They don't want them. <laughs> yeah, no. They've accepted. Damn. What? <laughs> I heard they accepted the abandonment. Five of Pentacles will be abandonment. They kind of accepted the abandonment. They may be uh, also looking at somebody new. It's possible to clarify the cups. I think, they, I think they moved on to someone new. Clap out the sun. Yeah. 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 They were hurt about this at some point. They were really hurt about this. But I think they're completely over it now. Yeah, I think they ended off on a really positive note. I think they're I think they're cordial with their friends. Um, but I don't think that it, I think they both have come to this place where they're like, it's not gonna be us. It's not us. And it, ha it, I think this is one of those kind of things where they both kind of maybe mutually realize it was never going to be that. It was always an attachment. It was always this and the third. It feels like a very healthy ending, uh, which probably helped both of them grow emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Uh, you know what? Good for them. You know what? 
You know what? Good for them. Oh, shit. Where is the... <laughs> Wait. I'm missing a card. Where was it? Y'all had... They... I'm glad I remember. Um, This person did future actions with the two of swords, but it's not here anymore. <laughs> Give me a second. Because I already divined for it. It was already there. Hold on. I knew I was going to do that. I don't know. I knew I was going to do that because it was just sitting there. Hold on. But yeah, how y'all day? Hold on. Brief intermission. How y'all doing? Should the one let him go? Eventually, if if, if, that's a, if that is not your story, if this person has not let um your person go yet, um, they will. If y'all have if if, if y'all don't resonate with a third party's feeling this way, uh, they will let go. They'll they'll let it go. They won't have a choice because they're this person is committed to focusing on you right now. Um. And it looks like they'll consistently be this way. Remember when I said before that they were consistently inconsistent? It's not giving that now. It's not giving that now. Give me a second while I find this tool source. Damn. I really don't have anything for him anymore. I've been That's fair. I've been trying to focus on taking care of our kid by myself. That would explain why I keep seeing the emperor and empress. Uh, the parents of the deck. Also focusing on school to become a, mas a massage Therapist, period. As you say that, I just dropped the card of school. And I was just about to say that card came out um, for your current energy. So a lot of y'all can be just focusing on yourself right now. For Twin Flames. I see Aries season will be significant. Fair, yeah. Especially with this retro. We literally have a retrograde. Spring equinox. And um, eclipse coming up within a span of a week. So, you know, hold on tight because shit. <laughs> Listen, there it is. Tool sword. All right, let's keep going. Your advice, your advice is the Queen of Wands. But the, for the ones of you that don't want this person back, I am not going to argue with you. I completely, I understand. I understand. I get it. I get it. For the ones of you that are going to be. The ones that are the benefit of the doubt kind of people. And are like, you know what? You know, she she, she feels kind of confident in this person's uh, trend and, grasp and, and transformation or whatever the case may be. And I'm starting to kind of see signs of this read myself and my own read. I might go ahead and give this person a chance. I understand you too. I understand all, I, I understand all of you. I, I completely get it. So just let me know what side of the coin you're on. I'm just curious to know. Queen of Wands, for your advice. Do it. Clarify the Queen of Wands for the collective's advice. The, the advice, by the way, because as I was saying that, the advice is um, not mandatory. I want to be so clear on that. The advice is complimentary from me to you. You do not take the advice. You are grown as hell. Most of y'all are older than me. <laughs> okay, so the, 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 the advice I'm giving you is just simply how spirit sees it. That it, the free will is a thing. You know what I'm saying? Clarify Queen of Wands. So I can see, I see a lot of y'all maybe being like, oh, I don't want to do that. Don't, then don't. Clarify Queen of Wands. I knew that was going to come out. The Empress, put yourself first. Whatever that means to you. Clarify the Queen of Wands. That could also be being generous uh, and um, stay in your feminine energy. Because I see a lot of y'all being very, very masculine. Um, not in a negative way because I'm I get it, but um, uh, with the Queen of Swords, you're coming out very cold and emotionally detached. And when you, as a woman, I hate to say it, as a woman, sometimes in society that looks bitter. And I don't like I'm not saying it's good or bad. It's just that's that's how it's coming up. It looks like you haven't gotten over it. Um, so with the Queen of Wands and the, and the Empress, warm up a little bit either to yourself or them or both. But it's something here about you needing to kind of. Remember who you are, step into your power, feel sexy, feel confident again. Because a lot of y'all are coming up like that, but not really. You're coming up like that, but more in a masculine way. I think they, I think Spirit wants, for my women, obviously, I think they want you to kind of warm up a little. I don't know what, it's kind of, it's getting warm up. Because the Queen of Swords is Ice Queen. You're coming up as the as the, as the fire sign of the, as the queens. It's kind of giving... You need to be in a more of an optimistic mindset. You need to be more generous or, how do I put this? 
I wouldn't say emotional understanding, but the Empress would be emotional understanding. Clarify like Queen of Wands. Let me see what else comes up. I'm going to see why, too, so I can really get into this. A part of us. A part of us. Because depending on the advice, it's going to kind of tell me who's in this outcome or not. Because, one more time. Six of Swords reverse. Clarify Queen of Wands. I want to say this too. For the ones of you that plan on going back to this person, you don't have to punish them any more than the universe has already whooped their ass, by the way. A lot of y'all are in this Queen of Swords energy, this cutthroat kind of harsher energy, because you feel like you kind of have to punish them in a certain kind of way, and they already got their asses universally handed to them, which caused them to become this emperor in the first place. Um, so just remember that, because I heard somebody say that, and that stuck with me for a while, and I'm like, yeah, you don't have to punish nobody who had that shit coming anyway. Um, for your energy is very, your advice is very vibrant. For the ones of you planning on going back to this person, this is going to be your advice. Uh, for the ones of you who are questioning it and doubting it, this could be a, this could be it too. But it's kind of given that you should, if you still love them that way, y'all are coming up as the emperor and empress now. I believe it's safe to say that you could go back to them if you wanted to. I'm not encouraging it. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying don't do it. It's just you wouldn't regret going back is what it's kind of giving. Why? Okay, let me, before I say that, for real, before I really say that, because I don't want to put y'all in a line of fire. What is the Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands, the Empress, the Sun, I'm, I'm seeing a whole lot of cards of confidence and being warm and vibrant and inviting and receptive of the person's energy that's trying to come towards you, trying to come back towards you. It's very much giving, if you want to go back, go ahead. Um, whereas a lot of times, spirit will be like, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> what is the queen of wands? What is the queen of wands? The part of verse. Four of swords is kind of, yeah. This is a card of recovering and emotional healing. Some of you, it could be therapy. This could be like shadow work. I don't get shadow work from this, but this could be. Uh, and with the Two of Cups, it's kind of giving, putting something to rest. Something about the past for you needs to be put to rest. For you, not even for them. For you, you need to let something go, okay? Um, this, you have a hard time letting something go that happened in the past between you and this person. Um... Clarify Four of Swords. It's not for them, though. It's for you. Clarify Four of Swords. High Priestess. I'm also getting, on a side note, a lot of y'all need to sit and you need to make a decision about whether you want to be with this person or not, and you need to make it from an intuitive point of view. You need to listen to your intuition when it comes to if this person has changed or not. A lot of you need a minute. I would say take a day to really sit and think intuitively should I take this person back or not? If your intuition is saying no, not your ego, put your ego aside. I want I want y'all to know the difference between ego and intuition. If your ego is, your ego sounds like, in this situation, your ego would sound like, well, they went with this person. They, you know, I don't want to be with nobody that, that does me like that. That's ego. That's ego. Okay. You need to think from an intuitive point of view, should I do this or not? Okay. Your ego sounds like, did this, you know, well, this person, this person left me for somebody else, and this this person did, did this and a third to me, and all kind of stuff. If you're, if most of your ego goes out of the past, most of your ego goes out of the past. Your intuition would sound more like, how to put it? For some reason, I want to say intuition and common sense are going to go hand in hand with this one. Clarify the four swords. Hold on a sec. Clarify the four swords. Ego. Clarify the high priestess. 
Help me with the intuition part. Upright reverse. Oh, it might be reverse. Upright reverse. Oh, yeah, I think it's reverse, actually. Yeah, that's reverse. One more. Let's make sure. Yeah, that's reverse. For a lot of you, your intuition is saying this person not gonna hurt you again, that they learned the lessons and that this is a solid truth. If your intuition is telling you that, thank you, Spirit, because I was I was having a hard time with the with the hyper with the intuition part. If your intuition is telling you that somebody is coming towards you with a solid truth and that they genuinely are not going to do this again, if this is your intuition, not your emotion, not your feelings for them, not your love for them, but your intuition is telling you, I truly believe intuitively this person is not going to hurt me again. If, you, if you've been seeing signs like that when you think of this person, if you've been having dreams like that of this person, those are all intuition based, okay? You need to make a decision based off your intuition. And your desires. I want to say your desires too. Queen of, with the Queen of Wands, it would be more desire. But if it's what you want, only this is what you want. But ego would sound like, oh, I don't want this person. I don't, I don't know about this person. Blah, blah. But it's very much giving. It's like really sit and think for like a good day or two, for a while, a little bit. Take it, take you some time away from this person. Really sit and think about y'all entire timeline, y'all entire history, and really think. Am I going to get what I deserve out of this person? You know what I'm saying? Clarify six of wands. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all's intuition is telling y'all y'all might get something you want out of this person now. I think a lot of your intuitions are telling you that this person learned a lot from this last relationship in this last chapter with this person and are going to apply them with you. I think a lot of y'all intuition is telling y'all that. Let's keep going. And with the high priestess being upright, a lot of y'all are right. Clarify the six of swords of birth. Yeah, a lot of y'all are being guided to, to go back to this person and work things out. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it no more. A lot of y'all are being told to go back to this person. <laughs> Whether it's to be together or not, you need to fix something with this person. Y'all need to heal something um, with this person for you. It's very much giving is not even for them. They are not even coming up in, the, in your advice. They are literally not even coming up in your advice. Your advice is to do something for you, which is go back and fix something with them and allow them to make it right for you. Not for the two of you, but for you. Okay? Wherever that goes, wherever that goes after that, it's up to y'all. But you're being guided spiritually to go back. Clarify that, Empress. Clarify the Empress. Upright lovers. You need to, yeah, a lot of y'all are not open to receiving. If you're coming up very feminine in the advice, you're being told to remember that you're the feminine. Um, this person coming back toward you would relieve a lot of burden for you. This person coming back towards you would get you out of this uh burdened, low-key bitter energy. I'm, I don't think you're kind of bitter with the Queen of Swords, but it's Queen of Swords would be the most bitter out of all the queens. This person coming back towards you would heal you. The way this person is coming back towards you would heal something for you and help you grow spiritually the way that they helped each other grow spiritually. This person is meant to come back to you to the to do the same thing. Um, I think it's supposed to last longer for y'all, possibly. Well, we'll get to that. Um, Cliff on the sun. Clarify the sun. Upright reverse. Upright reverse. One more. The four of cups. I want to say for a lot of you who don't want this person, after that, go ahead and leave. But when it comes to this person coming toward you, either now or in the near future, that's meant to happen. It's meant to help you go from Queen of Swords to this Queen of Wands to the Empress. It's meant to help you grow in some way, shape, or form and drastically. Um, but if a lot of you figure, if you a lot of you find that you don't want this person anymore, if a lot of you find that this person coming back toward you is not what you want and that you're still triggered by this person, you can go ahead and go. Clarify the sun. But in regarding to letting this person come back to fix something, that needs to happen for you. Because my thing is, you deserve that. 
I want to say this is because this is something that you deserve. This person coming, first of all, think about it like this. For the ones that are ego-based, if the think about it like this. This person did whatever they did to you, left you for somebody else, whatever, whatever you want to call it, right? Whatever happened. Them coming back on their hands and knees to basically beg to be back with you and is like trying to be consistent towards you and all that kind of stuff. You deserve that, don't you? That's an apology. Especially they're spending money. That's an apology. Okay. Um, if you want to if you want to see it like that, now if a lot of you want this person, that's just something you want anyway. But for ones of you who don't want this person, let them come back and fix it anyway. That is something you deserve. Okay. That would boost your ego and your confidence and all kind of shit that I'm seeing in your advice. Let them come back to fix it. You deserve it regardless if you want them or not. Matter of fact, it's almost better if you don't want them. And I know a lot of people going to say it's toxic. I know a lot of folks going to say it's toxic. But technically, they were toxic first. I'm an Aries. <laughs> technically, they were toxic first. It's almost better if you don't want this person. Let them come back in and, 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 and you be open to receiving. Take from them. If you want to be toxic, take from them. Then let them go. And then... Okay, but if you do want them, then you want it anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's giving, be open to receiving. You know what I'm saying? But if you find yourself not wanting them, if you find yourself disinterested in them still, great. You got some gifts. You got some dates. You got some flowers. You got some diamonds. You got something out of it. You earned that. That's yours. Think of it like this. This is your karmic payback. This is your, you are owed this. You're owed this. You're owed this. There are new future actions towards you. Two of swords. Then, and it goes for the men too. This goes for the men too. If it's if it's reversed, it goes for y'all too. I am not a one-sided woman. <laughs> if it goes for y'all, if it resonates on your side, it goes for you too. Go take that woman money. <laughs> I am, I, listen, I am a woman of fairness. <laughs> two of swords. Listen, we got two, listen, two or three days till every season. I'm kicked in. Clarify two of swords. Clarify two of swords. This is their new future actions. Now, there's a bit of confusion here for some reason. Don't know what this is about, but they're a part of this. Just make sure. One more time. That is a part. Yeah, okay. So two of swords. I'm seeing them being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Don't love that. Clarify two of swords. I'm glad I went live today. A part of reverse. One more. Seven of wands. What the hell are they finna get into? Clarify two of swords. Oh, I get heavy Leo energy, by the way. Heavy, heavy. Queen of wands, strength, the sun. Clarify the uh, two of swords. A part of the verse. Two of wands. Clarify two of swords. A part of the verse. One more. Four of pentacles reverse. This reading long as hell. Um, <laughs> I just thought about it. The sun set on me. What is the two of swords? Yeah, what is the two of swords? Damn it. Okay, two to two is coming up in just their advice. I mean, just in just their near future actions. Um, two to two is coming up. A lot of you could be seeing two to two. Um, four for four is also coming up and, uh, six, 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 technically yeah, four, six is here. Four, 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 two, 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 and six, six, six. What's gagging me is I've been seeing those same numbers. Um, especially the sixes. I'm tripping. Wait, hold on. Cause I'm tripping. 
No, there's two threes. Okay. Someone could be 33. I don't know. Upright reverse. <laughs> One more. Damn. Okay. Two of Pentacles reverse for all these twos. Two of Pentacles reverse for the Two of Swords. Clarify Two of Pentacles reverse. I'm confused. Why are they confused? Clarify Two of Pentacles reverse. Have, okay, they need to make a decision about something and a big one, but they've already made it. Have they already? Okay, whatever decision this is, whatever this, these twos in the judgment is, whatever decision this is, is have they already made this decision? I mean, yeah, in the near future, will they make this decision? Will this pull the swords? Nine of Pentacles. Is that a yes? No. No. What's going on then? What is this? What is this uh, decision about? What is the source in the judgment? What is this about? They have a choice to make. What? What choice is this about? Child, I don't know. Clarify the the will of fortune. This is the most lost I've been over here. Clarify the will of fortune. The hermit. Okay, let's get into the clarifying cards because I'm. I'm lost now. Clap I saw no walls. I'm curious. Is the seven of wands my collective? Is this... I think that's y'all. Yeah, y'all gonna person y'all gonna y'all might push this person to the point where they might be confused if they're doing the right thing or not. Yeah, that's y'all. That's why your advice is the way it is. Okay. Now I get your advice. Okay. Clap out to a wants. I don't see them leaving you, but I see them thinking about if they made the right decision to come bother you because of how you've been reacting to them. Yeah, a decision that they already, yeah. Okay, thank you. A decision they already made, a big one, to come back towards you, or for some of you, they have not yet, they're thinking about it. This is their new future actions. Uh, the new future actions, for the ones of you who this person has not reached out yet, um, their new future actions towards you is trying to make the big decision to come back, even though they've technically already made the decision, like they already know they want to come back. They're trying to decide if they should or shouldn't. Um, because they may be afraid of you pushing them out. For the ones of you who already has heard from this person and has already been trying to like apply pressure towards you, they're trying to decide if they if they made the right decision or made the right judgment call uh, because of how you reacted to them trying to be vulnerable towards you and maybe them trying to apologize towards you. A lot of you have been trying to be, a lot of you have been very uh, defensive and combative. And they may be wondering if they should like leave you alone, like on some like, not because like you know you know the collective don't want to bother them, don't want to be bothered with me, not not even like that. Just because they don't want to bother you, they don't want to be a burden to you any more than they already have been. It feels like they're trying to put you first in a way. That's what it kind of feels like. Um, yeah, for a lot of like, if you don't want to, if you don't want them around. They will leave you alone. I think that's a lot of the reason why you're being told to be receptive and open to this person's um, actions. Because a lot of you, whether y'all want to admit it on social media or not, um, want this person to act the way that they're going to try to act or they already are acting for some of you. Because some of you, a lot of y'all have different timelines. Uh, some of y'all, this person already came back. Some of y'all, the person hasn't yet. Um, but a lot of y'all, it would boost your ego and um, your confidence if this person came crawling back on their knees, trying to get back with you, um, whether you want them back or not. And I feel like you won't get that if you act a certain kind of way or if you are a little too combative. Now, I'm not going to say put your uh, boundaries aside so that you can get your ass kissed by this person because I'm not for that. I am not going to tell you that. I am firm on boundaries. You tell this person, um, you tell this person exactly what you will and won't tolerate. I am always an advocate for that. Um, so always do that, but don't do the most to the point where it looks like you're bitter as hell. Like, don't do that. Don't do all that. Cause you're coming up very defensive. Um, 
You had actually now come up with a seven of wands twice. Very combative. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do the most. Okay. But I get it. You definitely need to put boundaries up. There, that needs to be the first conversation. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you don't want to look bitter. <laughs> Matter of fact, you want to look as unbothered as possible. Um, not just look, but be unbothered as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause they already they already would rather want you than this other person. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're already willing to catch your ass. It's just let them let them clarify to a one. Yeah, I think this is them being confused on if they are about to make the right decision or if they already did make the right decision by coming back to you. And like I said, not in a I should have stayed around with the other person. I should I shouldn't have never went back to collective. It's not giving that. It's just they don't want to bother you. They don't want to bother you if you don't want them around. They already feel guilty <laughs> about the past. They already feel mad. They already feel upset about the, with themselves. Uh, that person has done a lot of shadow work to get to where they are now. Um, and like I said, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, Break this person down any more than they've already been broken down. The universe has been whooping the ass anyway. Clap out of four of pentacles reverse. Because a lot of y'all are spiritually protected. Coming up real heavily with the higher font here. Um, so, yeah. Whoever is watching over you probably whoop their ass anyway. Clap out of the uh, four of pentacles reverse. How will the two of swords look to my collective? How will the two of swords look to my collective? I want to know that part because... You might have a reason to be defensive, the way depending on how it looks. How will the two of swords look to my collective? Y'all are coming up so cold. A lot of y'all have healing to do. A lot of y'all still have healing to do. I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, clarify five of pentacles. Y'all, a lot of y'all really need to let this person come in, come back in and kind of pour back into you. Clever five pentacles. Or y'all need to pour into yourself or something. Because the way y'all coming up is so cold. And I get it. I'm not judging. It's because this, this kind of situation would do that. But, yeah. Why five of pentacles? Yeah. Um, how this indecision is going to look to you is going to look as if they're going to take off or run or that they're still playing mind games and that the abandonment that they, the abandonment wound that the abandonment wound that they already caused will get triggered and make you feel like they're on some bullshit again. Um... Yeah, it'll look it'll look funny to you. It'll look shady to you. Shady is the best word I could put for that. It'll look shady to you, and you'll almost feel abandoned again if they've already come back around. For the ones of you, if they have not come back around just yet, you're going to continue kind of being in this Queen of Swords kind of coldish, like Ice Queen, Ice King kind of energy, um, until they come back around. I feel like I'm missing something. I, I hate I hate when that happens because it feels like I'm missing a key part of this. What am I missing here? Because I, I, I feel like I can't get to the ending yet. What is the outcome? I mean, not outcome. <laughs> what am I missing in this uh, near future actions that I have not told the collective yet before I get to this outcome? What am I missing? That might have been everything. Clap out Ace of Swords. I think I'm tripping. The Empress and the Four of Wands. For some reason, I feel like that spirit telling me to reiterate that. What is Ace of Swords for what I'm missing? What is Ace of Swords? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So that's what I thought. Um, yeah. This person... Why the two of swords? 
Why two swords? Because of the bad memories. Yeah, this person is. It just gets scared to bother you. But it is telling me to reiterate that this person wants you. You are this empress to this person. You have not come up as the empress twice. They have not come up as the emperor twice. Vice versa for some of you. Y'all are coming up as the divine pair at this point. Whereas these two only come up as the king and queen of pentacles. But y'all are coming up as the emperor and empress. That's way better. Um... Uh, bad memories for the, like the, the negative history between you and them is causing them to doubt themselves and the thing is for some reason I really want to say they feel, they still feel like they made the right decision I really think it's just your, your reaction to them coming back clap until once Clef, I four pentacles reverse. I'm waiting for the outcome. The ace of swords and knight of swords. And I also say energy of they really, they genuinely did drop the, this past person. Whoever this past person is that they, they went to, they did let this person go. With the four pentacles reverse, they really did let this person go. Okay, let's get into the outcome. Child, you are coming up as somebody who they see as like home to them. And it's kind of given that they feel stupid. All right, let's see this. Let's see. Oh, crap. The lovers is the outcome. So I'm seeing a relationship for somebody. I'm going to stop for a follow. All right. Clap for the lovers. Clap for the lovers and the outcome. Clap for the lovers. One more. Five of cups. Clap for the lovers. Three of Cups, Clever the Lovers, Hangman, Clever Five of Cups, One more, Paid of Wands, Clever Three of Cups, Page of Swords, and Clever Five the Hangman. The three ones. And before I read, how how will my collective feel about this outcome? How will my collective feel about this outcome? How will my collective feel about this outcome? A part of verse. A part of verse. One more. Four of wands. So this is y'all. So who was the five of cups? Ooh. Okay. Um. Hmm. T. Clever four of wands. I might be wrong, but why does it feel like y'all two are going to end up together beautifully? And as soon as the third party finds out about it, she's going to be watching y'all. Or he's going to be watching y'all. Clear about the four of wands. Y'all are going to be fine. It's just there's something here that they want you to know about the third party. Going from being like, I don't want this person, I don't need this person, to all of a sudden now wanting them more because they come back to you. Clarify four of wands. 
I see them being sad and like keeping tabs. Clip out for a once. Yeah, y'all are going, listen, a lot of y'all, I think you're meant to be with this person at least right now. I'm not even gonna hold you. For the ones who still want this person, it's valid because y'all are coming up very beautifully in the outcome. Um, with the Emperor and Empress, that is the, that is not Emperor and Empress, it, with the lovers, that is the Emperor and Empress coming together in holy matrimony, whatever you want to say. Um, this feels like, there's also marriage that's, that's very possible between, between you two. Um, like I said, if you don't want that, then that is your life. I respect it, completely understand. Uh, but a lot of you are going to see things from a more optimistic point of view. And I wanna see what makes y'all do that because I see a lot of you, again, going from being cold to being more open-minded. So I wanna see what does that for you. Uh, but going on, I'm gonna talk about the third person, the third party for a second. I don't know how they figure out that y'all are together, but they will figure out that y'all two are together and that's gonna make them want them again. Remember earlier I said they didn't want them? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, for now, for now. Because uh, I see somebody grieving something that they were interested in, and I don't think I, really, I don't think that's you, because you're about to have the person you wanted. Um, why four of wands? Just making sure. Why four of wands for how my collective is going to feel about this lover's card? Because this person chose, you're going to feel like this person chose right now. You're going to feel like this person chose right. Like my two of wands. This is a very specific read. <laughs> So titling this is going to be very interesting, but clarify two of wands. I'll probably reverse. One more. Yeah, you're going to feel like they came, you, you're going to feel like they made the right choice this time. You're going to feel like they are maybe redeeming themselves. Um, and you're going to feel confident in that. And you're going to be kind of looking toward the future and what, they, what the future may hold for the two of you. But with this page of swords and three of cups, Very interesting that's coming out in this outcome. What is three of cups? What is three of cups? Uh, for my practitioners out there, do whatever you got to do to protect yourself from evil eye. Because I've seen this person watching y'all. What is uh, the what is three of cups? Now, that can also symbolize a reunion between you and this person. The two of you coming back together. Um, the two of you becoming like friends first and then with the lovers obviously getting into a relationship that could easily talk about that but this could also talk about someone else who cannot let your person go clarify the eight of cups reverse I think it's talking about a third party hun. somebody is not somebody is um That's interesting. This is really weird. Okay. I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say the person that they were with, your person, I want to say that the third party left your person. And now that this person has come back around to you, which was technically their first choice anyway, um, now that they're with you and now that they're about to be with you, now they're upset that they feel the same way about them or that they will feel the same way about them. Like, okay, well, no, I don't want you either. <laughs> like, I, I would rather have to collect them anyway. Like, it's kind of giving that. And I see them being kind of mentally triggered and kind of upset and kind of uh, having a hard time emotionally walking away from the fact that this person don't want them like that either. But because they don't want them and they want you, now the third party wants them again. So, yeah. It's like... They moved on happily and carelessly and like was like, okay, I'm going to just do me. But now that they're with you or now that they're about to be with you, now they're starting the grieving process of their relationship. The third party is going to now start their grieving process, which is going to cause them to kind of internally go mad and start watching y'all be united again. What is the page of swords? So just be mindful of this. Someone who's acting like they don't care right now and they very well might not have cared. But... They act like they don't care now, but internally they're dying inside. Um, what is the page of swords? Page of swords. Someone who's by themselves, someone who's alone, because that's not the two of y'all. Yeah, someone's gonna be watching y'all. What is the five of cups? 
someone who's grieving and mourning and emotionally and mentally resting and recuperating, that's not y'all because I see y'all being in complete harmony. Some of y'all can end up getting married and or living together. Um, it looks beautifully for y'all. What is Five of Cups? I see like like passionate love making and all. What is Five of Cups? Someone being sad of somebody being uh, having a new romantic beginning with someone. Something that they want, something that they're interested in, something that they lost. I'm telling you, mo most of your re most of your outcome is the third party. But um, for y'all, I see y'all moving forward very quickly. Okay, I've seen a lot of y'all taking this person back. Okay, um, if you if you don't, like I said, that's not your story, I guess. But a lot of you are gonna end up back with this person, and it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be so beautiful. Okay, um, cause my thing is. The reason it ends up beautiful is because y'all learned the lessons y'all supposed to learn. A lot of you, like I said, might have meant to be with this person the entire time. A lot of you could be twin flames with the emperor and empress and the lovers and four of wands. Um, but the way, you, listen, what I say is very possible for the two of you to get married. I'm seeing marriage. I'm seeing passionate, loving, intimate lovemaking. I'm seeing uh, living together. I'm seeing celebrating holidays and Christmases and birthdays and all kinds of stuff together. I'm seeing it being... I don't, I don't have any complaints for how y'all is coming up. I'm seeing a, a love that you deserve coming up for you with this person. And it's a person you always wanted. This, this person has always wanted you, but there's always been some kind of lesson that needed to be learned, okay? Um, that is going to be sour as hell for someone else to see. How will the third party feel about this? I don't have anything else to really say for you. I really don't. Honestly, everything you want to happen is exactly what you're going to get. As, when I say the four of wands on the lovers... What else? I don't know what else to say for that. Clap on the um, hangman. I do want to know what makes you change your mind, though. King of Swords. I think you're realizing that they're being honest. I think you realize there's something that they say. I want to specifically, specifically say. I want to say something that they say that's so honest. And you'll just, you'll just see through it. You'll just know. You'll just know. Um... What causes the collective to be open-minded towards this person of theirs? What causes this hangman energy where um, the collective is kind of trying to be cooperative with their ex here? Why is the collective being open-minded here in the outcome? What triggers this for them? The magician. Them doing, wow. <laughs> magician in higher font. Something they say, like I said, public speaker is the hard part. Um, something they say, like I said, but magician is about action. Action and words are going to match. Magician, listen. If this person does not show you as much as they can tell you, this is not your read. Because this person is going to show you and manifest. And for some of you, this person could also have found religion or spirituality as well. For a lot of you, this person could be um, a practitioner now. Or they could be uh, very spiritual or religious or just heavily deep in uh, otherworldly things for a lot of you. Um, they could, they might believe in angel numbers and stuff like that. Um, I'm getting kind of a, like a very wise energy from them and a very spiritual energy from them. A lot of you that's going to tell you how much they've kind of grown in a way, they're going to believe in some kind of higher power or higher source for most of you. Uh, that's not for everybody. But, I'm, but in regarding to the love side of this, the magician in Hierophant could show you um, for how for why you're going to change your mind and kind of try to be open-minded with this person and cooperative is because they're going to show you just as much as they can tell you. And they're going to tell you a lot and they're going to show you a lot. It's the actions and the words and everything they're going to do all wrapped up in one. It's going to be a, a perfect little bow, okay? The magician is somebody who is confident in creating the kind of masterpieces that they're intentionally trying to create. And with you, that is a happy love life, a happy marriage, uh, kids, and in long-term relationship, okay? A lot of you, they want marriage. I'm seeing marriage for most of you. I'm really seeing marriage for most of you. Every time I pull something for how they feel or what they're wanting to do when it comes to you, you always pull a marriage card. For the entire hour and a half of this stream, you've been pulling marriage cards for what they want to do um, for you. That's what it's giving. That is what's going to show you and make you be like, you know what? We'll see. We'll see where this goes. And that's y'all ending up in a relationship. How will the third party feel about the lovers here in the outcome? How will the third party feel about this? Yeah. Like, yeah, that came out. That, damn, that was already came out before. 
Nine of Wands at the bottom, peep that. Yeah, stressed. This person, you know what? And you was crazy. This is weird because why does it feel like they're about to feel everything you were feeling? Because that's how you felt. Technically, you felt like the Eight of Swords, but 999 could be significant, by the way. You could be seeing 999. That could be one of the angel numbers you're seeing. <laughs> Excuse me. What was I finna say? Crap. I'm curious, how did this person feel? How did the third party feel about this person on the collective's mind choosing them instead of the collective? Why does it, why does it feel like this, this is some kind of karma that's coming back to them? I heard secure the bag. Clever nine of pentacles. Okay, I'm just making sure that the five of swords didn't come out like on some petty shit. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Like I was, I thought this was gonna be one of those like, oh, I took your man, I took, oh, I took your bitch. It's, I thought it was gonna be one of those kind of energies. No, they just gonna feel what you were feeling. Upper numbers. Yeah, they thought it was over between the two of you too. They thought it was over between the two of you. Like peripheral, the whole time this person was thinking about you with them. Yeah, it is. The whole time this person was thinking about you while they're with them. Mm, tea. Okay. Yeah, I was making sure no pity shit came out for them. Like, okay. You thought. Um, but I don't get that kind of vibe. I think they just were kind of just trying to mind their business. Um What was I gonna ask? Oh no, I asked that already. Okay. Was that it? Is that it? Oh, this was a bit. This was a little bit. This was a little bit. One thing about it, the table's going to turn. Because everything that this person had you feeling when they went to them, the third party is going to feel every bit of that when they come back to you. That's why I was like, what's going on with that? What's, what's was there anything that the collective didn't know about the third party? Like, was was it talking shit about the third? Was about the collective? I was trying to see, but I don't think so. I don't think I don't think they're doing all that. I think it's a, a very grown, possibly very mature person. Um, but yeah, I see you living happily ever after <laughs> with your person. This very well may happen in April. By the way, um, you have the four of wands here. That's April Aries energy, and the lover is here, which is Gemini energy. So. Yeah, around that time is most likely when this is going to happen. Um, unless you're just dealing with an Aries or a Gemini or you have that in your chart or they do. Um, but time frame is giving soon for some reason. It's very much giving April Aries um, season and uh, between Aries season and Gemini season. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. Um, does anybody have any questions about this reading before I close out? Is there anything that I missed that y'all want me to tap into before I put this card up? Since we went and ran for almost two hours anyway. But I think I've covered everything. I think it was, yeah. I don't I don't got into everything. <laughs> But if there's anything I missed, anything you want me to tap into while the cards are still cleansed, let me know now. I'll forever hug your peace. No? Okay. All right. Just making sure. Because I'm like, I think I, I think I about asked everything I would I would I would have had questions about. All right, um, I'm seeing Gemini, Aries, Leo, Libra, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Taurus, a strong Gemini, Scorpio, Sag, Scorpio. All right, all right, you guys. Hey, Sunshine. Hey, teacher. You're welcome, you guys. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Mm, bye.